value added tax part 4 in this part we are going to discuss the methods of computation of tax there are three methods of computation of tax addition method isko income approach bhi keh sakte hai subtraction method this is also called product approach method and invoice method or tax credit method or voucher method this third method is used worldwide including india now we will discuss each method in detail first look at the addition method in this method we aggregate all the factors of payment jo bhi aapne payments kiye hai manufacturing ke, uh, during the manufacturing you aggregate all the factors including profit margin and then jo amount aata hai uske upar aap tax rate apply kar dete hain let's see this with the help of a Suppose the factors of production like uh, salary, wages, rent, ये सभी मिला के आपका factors of production आ रहा है आपका let's say वन lakh rupees. We are not considering the raw material here. We are just considering the value addition. Value addition में ये सारे factors of payment consider करेंगे ये total आ रहा है वन lakh. Add the profit margin. Also, suppose during the month you have paid salary, wages, rent one lakh, and the profit margin is let's say fifty thousand. Iska ap total le lenge one lakh fifty thousand, and then just apply the tax rate on this value addition. Tax rate, let's assume it is a ten percent. So ten percent of this, the liability will be coming fifteen thousand rupees is the tax liability. as you can see raw material is not considered and whatever is the sale price this is also not considered only the factors of payment and the profit margin is considered and aggregate those things and apply the tax rate and find the tax now what are the merits or demerits of this method normally it is used with the income variant ये एडिशन मेथड इनकम वेरिएंट जहां अप्लाई होता है उसके साथ यूज होती है डिफिकल्ट इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू अप्लाई दिस मेथड व्हेन फ्यू गुड्स आर एग्जेम्प्टेड फ्रॉम टैक्स एंड इट डज नॉट मैच द सेल्स एंड परचेस इनवॉइसेस एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन रॉ मटेरियल कितने में खरीदा वो नहीं देखा जाता सेल प्राइस नहीं देखी जाती ओनली फैक्टर्स ऑफ पेमेंट्स और प्रॉफिट मार्जिन देखा जाता है सो सिंस देयर इज नो मैचिंग ऑफ इनवॉइसेस द चांसेस ऑफ टैक्स इवेजन is very higher in this method after this we will look at the subtraction method it is also called product approach method in this method we deduct the total value of purchases from the total sales value and just apply the tax rate let's see it with the example suppose you have purchased raw material for 1 lakh rupees this is raw material and after processing you have sold the sale price of the final product is 1 lakh 50000 you are just matching these two sale price and the purchase price of raw material the difference is coming 50000 is 50000 pe 10% apply kar do and this is coming 5000 rupees so this is what uh, the method to calculate the tax subtraction method you just have to subtract the purchase price of the raw material from the sale price of the final product aur jo bhi value addition aa raha hai uske upar aap tax rate apply karenge let's see what are the pros and cons of this method tax is charged on the value addition at each stage har stage mein aap value addition nikalenge difference of sales and purchases and apply the tax rate and the concept of tax credit is not applicable here applicable kyun nahi hai tax credit because we are directly calculating the tax on value addition only not on the actual sale price after this we will see the invoice method which is commonly used by all the countries including india isko aap tax credit method bhi bol sakte hain aur voucher method bhi bol sakte hain calculation of tax on sales value of Each stage, हर स्टेज में आप सेल वैल्यू पे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टैक्स कैलकुलेट करते हैं देन ये जो टैक्स आता है इसमें से 
take set off of tax all tax credit of the tax paid on purchases purchases ke samay jo aapne tax pay kiya tha wo tax aap isme se deduct karte hain and finally jo differential tax aata hai you have to pay to the government let's take it uh, continuing with the same example of subtraction method isme thoda sa calculation alag rehta hai first we will calculate the tax on the sale price सेल प्राइस पे आपका टैक्स आता है फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड नाउ फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड टैक्स पे करना पड़ेगा बट यू कैन टेक द सेट ऑफ ऑफ टैक्स पेड एट द टाइम ऑफ परचेसेस तो परचेसेस आपका था वन लाख रुपीज का टेन परसेंट के हिसाब से लेट्स से टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज आपने टैक्स पे किया था एट द टाइम ऑफ परचेस ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल सो फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड में से टेन थाउजेंड लेस हो जाएगा एंड फाइनली द अमाउंट is coming 5000 this is the tax payable as you can see the tax amount same aayega the only the calculation ka jo procedure hai it will be different you have to calculate the tax first on sale price then you have to show the preserve the invoices of purchases and purchase pe aapne jo tax pay kiya tha wo invoice preserve rakhni padegi aur jo bhi tax pay kiya tha invoices pe dikhega that you can deduct and finally the differential tax you have to pay now we can see the benefits of this method both invoices are matched as you can see sale price jo sale invoice rehti hai wo dekha jata hai aur sath mein purchase invoice ko bhi dekha jata hai chances of tax evasions are reduced because of this checking tax evasions ke chances kam hai method is followed almost in all the countries including india फ्यू केसेस टैक्स क्रेडिट मे नॉट बी एक ही इसमें प्रॉब्लम यह है कि फ्यू केसेस टैक्स क्रेडिट मे नॉट बी अलाउड इन सर्टन केसेस कौन कौन से केसेस हैं जिसमें टैक्स क्रेडिट अलाउड नहीं है दिस इज डिस्कस सेपरेटली 